It's a wet one. I don't see any of our fans out in the stands. I guess I don't block. The computer is so predictable sometimes. <laughs> Woohoo, 51, dude, you got murdered. So it looks like they're going to run to the right. So I'm gonna commit to the right here. And easy touchdown up the middle. Oh, and mostly catches it. Woohoo! Man, my balls puckered when I made that throw. Ihole. Welcome back, Lumberjacks. Welcome back to the second to last best YouTube dynasty. And this is your host, GOS, and we're back at it again. We are playing Louisiana Lafayette today. So this is like I touched on in the last episode. This is a weird team here, UL Lafayette. They've beaten LSU and Ole Miss, but then they've had some weird losses. So you don't know which UL Lafayette you're going to get. And also, like I said in the last episode, we're done recruiting, so we're just going to jump right into the scouting process. UL Lafayette's head coach is named Nick Macklin, and they run a Minnesota multiple. So this has actually been a coaching change since the last season because they ran a spread last season. It looks like they want to pass the ball a little bit more, but they're going to be typically balanced. They want to be aggressive. They're not going to be no huddle. And defensively, they want to run the 4-3, no variety, of course. They want to defend the run, focus on the run, be aggressive. So they're going to be bringing a lot of blitzes. I was impressed by the performance of our backup running backs. Well, our backup running back, Ford. Fred Ford had a fantastic game last week against, against Ole Miss. And, you know, we, we can run the ball, that's for sure. Obvious issue with my team is can we get a passing game going? And I'm going to try and get out of way in rhythm early. They're going to be keying on a running game, most likely. Game plan, we're going to run the ball per usual. But we're going to be trying screen passes and these short little dink and dunks to get out of way in rhythm so we can take those deep shots. As you saw in the at the end of the last episode, we are now 24th in the country, are going to Lafayette, Louisiana. And if we win, we get to celebrate with Chris's po Boys. Hell yeah. Get some gumbo and that Chris's special. They have the 95th scoring offense in the country, 103rd total offense. Their offense actually isn't any good with a 90 i was expecting them to be much higher defensively they're not great in anything either maybe against the pass but i'm actually kind of surprised that they don't rank higher in some of these categories so they look like based off of their philosophy they want to run the ball a little bit more but they're going to typically be pretty balanced and then defensively they're looking to key on the run but they're actually pretty weak against the run we don't know which cajun team we're going to be facing today the one that beat lsu or the one that lost to louisiana tech they got whooped by louisiana tech and we whooped them so and one other thing is we are actually first in our division as of right now so you know winning this game is very important obviously but we've already surpassed our seven win goal that we set at the beginning of the year and then we realized our athletic director wants us to win nine so we had to win two more games to hit that hit that mark and of course another rain game we're here in lafayette louisiana the home of the raging cajuns home to some of the best food in the world because i'm a fat kid here we go it's a wet one i don't see any of our fans out of the stands i guess i don't blame them they, they are from East Texas, so they should be used to the rain. But I don't see any of our fans in the stadium. And Lot gets popped, and that is popped out of Lot's hands. At least that pass was thrown accurately by Attaway. And Lot, uh, sorry, Ford with a seven yard gain on second down. That's going to be a manageable third and three. We're going to look for, well, so I'm seeing cover two for sure. I'm looking for Brooks on this slant route, depending on how the linebacker covers it. And they cover it well. And I have to throw it out. We didn't have anybody open. UL Lafayette deserves credit for that. They covered us really well on that play. And it's a counter. And he breaks two tackles. 91 is able to get him after a five yard gain. So we're gonna have issues tackling this running back, I can already tell, and we're not getting any pressure. This guy has all day to throw it. And that's a huge gain, 51 yards. They're inside the 20. I manned up on this fullback, I believe. And this is a speed option, good tackle on that by left outside linebacker. Good job, Hippolyte, you get a helmet sticker, let's go. And no pressure again, and easy catch over the middle. They convert third and 13. We're back to being terrible on third downs. 
So it looks like they're going to run to the right. So I'm going to commit to the right here. And easy touchdown up the middle. UL Lafayette already has a six to nothing lead. It should be seven with the extra point. And Attaway is able to power his way for an eight yard gain. It's going to be second and two. We have the ball at the 32 yard line. I'm going to try this counter. I do not see any blitzes. Ah, uh, yep, they are bringing a blitz on this left side. So I'm going to slide the protection left. And Ford breaks a tackle, is able to get the first down and gain eight more yards. And I did see some movement, so I would expect there's a blitz coming. And they are blitzing. We missed the block. 75 misses the block. That could have been a much bigger gain. But we do gain six on first down, so that's the positive. That could have been a much bigger play had uh, 75 got us blocked. And Ford is hit right at the line of scrimmage. There's nothing there. And Attaway fumbles it out of bounds. I think we're going to go for it, though. We have it at our, at our own 48. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to punt it. I don't I don't trust my offense enough right now. We are not getting open. And it looks like I, oh, I'm in zone coverage, so it doesn't matter. But this is a read option. And McDowell goes right down the middle and gains 13. That's going to be a first down. Here we go again. And I'm manned up on this fullback. And I get blocked. And there's no one else there. And they get a first down after a nine-yard gain. They are dominating us up front right now. And I'm blitzing with Amaretto here. And Amaretto is able to slow him down. We get him in the backfield. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Fantastic play by Aubrey. Helmet sticker. As of right now, UL Lafayette is dominating us. We are starting off slow again, of course. But we are getting dominated. They have a really good offensive line. The statistics that they have, the the ratings for their offensive line are actually kind of underrated because this offensive line is pushing us around up front. And we need to we need to start getting pressure. I'm gonna rush. And we're able to get them in the backfield. Great job by our defensive line there. We get them off the field. Now, of course, we got to be very weary of them faking it here. I don't trust the uh, computer in this situation. They faked it on this in this situation before. And I'm going to come out. Yep, they fake it. And he breaks the tackle, but we get the stop. The computer is so predictable sometimes. <laughs> Woo! 51, dude. You got murdered. That guy is going to have to have the Kanye West surgery. Shout out to Kanye West. All right, so we're at the 48 after our special teams. Well, actually, it was our defense that made the play. I knew they were going to fake it, and they still did. And uh, we get the stop. We have the ball at the 48. So hopefully that was a spark for us. We are not getting blocks right now. Good grief. They are, they are blitzing every gap, and our offensive line is just overwhelmed right now. So I have to try and get... A big screen pass here second and eight we have the ball at the 50 right at the 50 and they are just clouding up the line of scrimmage right now and Attaway is actually cold that's not good and that pass is deflected away wow Attaway is not having a good game so far uh so it looks like they're playing a cover two but i gotta watch the safeties i gotta make sure that this isn't a cover one lark. I've thrown interceptions at a cover one lark before. And I get hit. I do not have the time to make a play. And we get forced off the field again. Even after we were given beautiful field position by our defense. And that's another crappy punt by Bruno. Come on, Valier. Damn it. That's in the end zone. Almost got there. But that's going to be a touchback. What? How? I mean, I'll take it, but how? How was... That is crazy. Oh, they got screwed. And I'm going to commit left. That's their strong side. And they run right up the middle. And of course he breaks a tackle and gains 11. My goodness, defense. You guys got to... I'm going to put conservative tackle on. This is getting insane, man. And I'm manned up on the running back here. And a quick pass. Was that offensive... That better not be pass interference on us. Looks like it's on them, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pass interference on them. I was about to go crazy. 
but they did just get screwed by the refs. Valier obviously went into the end zone. Ah, that's crazy. I love it. You love to see it, but damn, they got screwed. We have quarterback contain. Okay, great job, Caleb Nelson. Helmet sticker for Caleb Nelson. Or was that Darren? Yeah, that's Caleb. Okay. Great job, uh, defense. Again, we're going to try this jet sweep with Mosley. So it's first and 10. We got the ball. Well, actually, at the 40 yard line. I said 45. It's the 40. And we could possibly get a gain out of this if we get the blocks. And we get the blocks. And Mosley down the sideline. He's down to the 12 yard line. Let's go. 28 yard gain. There you go. Maybe that's the spark we needed right there. We got the blocks. Mosley just didn't have the speed to, to take that all the way. First and 10, we got the ball at the 13 yard line and they are bringing a blitz again. So I am guessing this is a press. I mean, not a press, a zone on Brooks. So let's see if I can get him open. Wide open, touchdown, let's go, tie game. Our offense finally woke up. They finally woke up and it looks like this will be a run play, no? And he's taking off and he's gonna get the first. Takes a big shot, but he got the first down. Cedric Barlow with the tackle. And they get down to the 38 yard line. Let's see if our defense can get a stop here. And Amaretto is able to get to him, but not after a 16 yard gain. Oh, easy completion over the middle, breaks a tackle, stiff armed. Caleb gets stiff armed again. That's like the meme about him. He gets stiff armed. It's seemingly every freaking game. We're going to come out and try. I'm going to have Amaretto and Spy, and then I'm going to man up. Ooh, I'm manned up on the tight end here. That's not good. And easy. Oh, and he drops it. We get belled out by a drop again. <laughs> Woo! And that one is... Oof. Barely sneaks it in by the inch of his winky. They're playing press every single play. And actually, I'm going to move forward in motion, and I'm going to see if I could get them open across the middle here. And beautiful out route. And that's a first down. Good catch, Brooks. And a well-thrown ball by Attaway. And that's a first down. Let's go, guys. We're in no huddle. Come on. And I'm looking for Mosley again, but it really depends on if this is a cover two look. Oh, and Mosley catches it. Woo-hoo-hoo. Man, my ball's puckered when I made that throw. Ihole. And I'm going with the easy, quick out route. But I'm also going to look for Mosley across the middle here. And Mos Oh, and Mosley drops it. Ah. I don't know if my kicker can make this kick. Mosley with, what, his seventh drop of the season? Uh, I do not know if my kicker can make this. And I would rather... Yeah, maybe he can. Let's see how the wind looks. Okay. So I'm going to try and do it. And he gets it in right down the middle. It's a tie football game again. And we're going to go three man deep here. So they're taking their Hail Mary shot. Oh. And he catches it. Oh my goodness gracious. Padding the stats. Luckily, we did get the tackle. So that's the end of the first half. Uh, it's a tie football game right now. They get the ball. Our offense started this game off really slow. And this is going to be a, a heart attack game. I'm sure of it. And we need to recommit to the running game. And try and get our running game going. But they, they're, they're bringing these well-timed blitzes that is making it very difficult. Maybe it's a good idea to stop running from the spread offense. And instead try and pound them. But... We'll see. If our defense can get a stop here, I think I'll recommit to the running game in that aspect. And we're able to tackle him in the backfield. Great pursuit by the defense there. And Hippolyte, helmet sticker. Let's go. And I'm going to just play as Maddox. And this is a screen pass. And we missed the tackle. And he's down the sideline. That's a 58-yard gain. They're down inside the 20. They strike quick again, and we cannot get these guys off the field on third downs. It is very frustrating right now. And that's a draw, but a great, great penetration by our backup defensive tackle there, Abel Gonzalez. Good job, Abel. 
And that's a helmet sticker. That's the first play you made all season. So that's your first helmet sticker. Good job, dude. Quarters defense because they're coming out in a a uh, five wide receiver set. It's third and 12. They have killed us on third downs. And we're going to play press here. And that's an easy touchdown to Chris Davis. They convert on a third and long and score. Ah, defense, man. Defense. Yep, Finley gets beat again. And Finley just doesn't have the speed to make up for it. And easy. Touchdown for UL Lafayette. They strike quick. Oh, crap. And Attaway is actually able to break a tackle. I meant to hold X. I don't know what I was doing. It's third and two. And Ford is able to pass the sticks. That's a first down. Great job by Ford there. Second and eight. We have the ball at the 48. I'm trying to recommit to this running game that we have. I do not see any blitzes. Yeah, their linebackers are adjusting a little bit. So I'm going to slide my protection left. And we do have a lead block. And Ford is able to, to uh, power his way for a six-yard gain. That's a third and two that we're about to face. So third and two, I'm going to try this read option. And it kind of looks like they're bringing a blitz on this left side. But let's see if we could get something going here. And that's a false start. Newbie, come on, bro. I'm going to try and go across the middle here. I'm looking for Mosley on this button hook. And Mosley is able to make the catch. Great catch, Mosley. He didn't drop it, thankfully. And we do get the blocks. And Ford is able to run for nine yards on first down. And a beautiful pancake. Ford breaks a tackle. He gets the first down. We have rushed for over 100 yards in this game. All right, so it's third and 11. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. We're going into the fourth. Get your fours up. This is a close one. If we score here, obviously we tie it up. And then we need our defense to step it up. Uh, th these Cajuns came out to play. And we're definitely giving our, uh, our defense a rest. You know, with this particular drive, we've taken almost four and a half minutes off the clock. I'm going across the middle. It looks like... And that's an easy touchdown for Bearden. And this is going to be a tie football game. There you go. Helmet sticker Bearden. Helmet sticker Attaway. It's third and one. Here we go. And that's a false start. That's a false start. Let's set them back. Send them back. And we're running a quarterback contain here. It's third and six. And he, oh, and he drops it. We get bailed out by another drop. Our defense gets them off the field, though. That's the most important thing. We get them off the field quickly. This is third and nine. So hopefully they're running a cover two here. It, they're lining up like it is a cover two. I'm going to look at Brooks here first. I mean, Mosley here first, but I'm eyeing Foster as of right now. And I'm actually going to have a lot on a drag route just in case. And that's a catch over the middle. First down. Let's go. Great catch by Foster. That was your first <laughs> opportunity to catch the ball. You better catch it, bro. Third and two. Here we go. We have Brooks wide open. So I'm going to look for Brooks here. And Brooks makes the catch. We're inside the 10-yard line. Let's go. 18-yard gain. We're down inside the 10 at the 9, I believe. And I don't see any blitzes. So that could be a good thing. And we have a hole up the middle. That's a touchdown. We take the lead. And now we put it right back in our defense's hands to keep this a uh, keep our lead. This is actually the first lead we've had in this game. So we consumed three minutes off the clock. So it was a successful drive. We score. And now we have to rely on our defense to make a stop. And in this game, that's going to be tough. And that game doesn't. Wow, Louisiana Tech is six and four. We pummeled the hell out of those guys. And if you're going to let them score, let them score quickly so we can try and get down the field. And is that a face mask? Really? Oh, okay, good. Clipping. Send them back. Send them back. We've had a lot of penalties in this game. So they have the ball at their own 12-yard line. That's That makes it a little bit easier for our defense, but not if we get beat deep. So honestly, I'm just going to come out and play uh, cover two, try and take away the deep ball. We're going we're gonna to have quarterback contain here, and we're going to press up. It's third and four. 
And ooh, and another drop. Oh, dude, we get bailed out. And they're going to go for it, obviously. Fourth and four. I'm going to do quarterback contain. I don't want this uh, quarterback killing me. I have Amaretto manned up. And he stopped short of the sticks. We're going to win this game. Let's go. And we're going to win this game. Our eighth victory of the season. It was a sweaty for sure. Our defense made the stop when we needed it. And our offense started this game off so slow. But we were able to pick it up in the second half and have two really good drives. They consumed a lot of time at at least eight minutes in total of the second half, which is a lot of time. That's a lot of time. And we got our running game going a little bit. You know, that first half, we could not get our running game going. And we also got in rhythm, you know, with Attaway. He was he started this game off, what, one for six, I believe. It was a very, very, very bad start for our offense. And we've had an issue with this the last few weeks. But, uh, you know, we still came in to Lafayette and we won this football game. And now we can go to Chris's Po' Boys and celebrate with some gumbo and some Chris's specials. So Attaway went, had a rating of 145.4. 10 of 18, 114 yards, two touchdowns, 55 completion percentage. That's that's terrible. But he made the plays when we needed. Lafayette did a great job at really shutting down our, our run game. Our read option was very bad today. And, you know, Ford had 4.4 a carry, 16 attempts, 71 yards, a touchdown, broke one tackle. He, he ran pretty well in this game. Attaway, we could not get the read option going, and you got to give credit to the Lafayette defense. They were bringing well-timed blitzes, and then Mosley had two for 27. Receiving end of things, Brooks had another good game. As a senior, he's starting to show out. He's starting to show that he is a senior. He's making some clutch catches, and he scored a touchdown. Mosley was behind him, three for 31, and he did have a drop, of course. We had two drops throughout this game. And then defensively, Ashanti Amaretto led the way in tackles along with Valier. And then Hippolyte had four. We had a total of six tackles for loss. Hippolyte, Nelson, Aubrey, and Maddox, and Gonzalez. And then in terms of sacks, no sacks allowed. Uh, no sacks on this game. No interceptions. We weren't making plays on defense today. We were getting tackles in the backfield, but we weren't making plays on the ball. Lafayette's offensive line is really good. It was hard to get pressure. And we get one player committed, Brian Bradford. I actually really like some of his attributes. If I remember correctly, he, he can move to uh, defensive end in our system. So that's a good commitment there. And then we have uh, Justin Clement coming in for a visit. That's our final recruit of the, of the, uh, of the season. Hopefully we can get him committed. So as you guys see, it's going to be the battle for the Caddo Trophy in the next episode, playing Northwestern State. And if we lose that game, we can't use Caddo as a, as a meme anymore because we don't own the trophy. So hopefully we can uh, top that game out and win that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I really enjoyed doing this series. I love the fact that we're 8-1 and, and we're playing a bunch of sweaties, you know, teamed with blowouts, of course. But I'm glad that there's people that are watching this that are enjoying it. This is the second to last best dynasty on YouTube. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Please subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you like the content. Like if you like the content. And then leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of the series. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later, essentials. And I don't see any blitzes. That could be a good thing. And we have... A hole up the middle, that's a touchdown, we take the lead, and now we put it right back in our defense.